Today we're gonna talk about a ticker that may go parabolic in the upcoming future. This is Flash Instincts. Make sure to hit that red subscribe button if you haven't. So if you go on Reddit right now, they're going for stock companies that are above $1 billion in market cap and have a huge short interest. So Sensionomics was peaking around above 20% short interest rate. Right now it's near that, it's below it, but it does have that 1 billion market cap. Now this is a very intriguing stock. They have an update on their Sensionomics uh, glucose monitoring device that shows accuracy in trial. Okay, so it blew up because of that as a result. I kind of told you that it did enter the golden cross. In my previous video, I told you if you got in around in May 19th, it was around a dollar region, very beautiful price. It was actually a, a, around a uh, dollar and 80 cents. That's when I made the video below it and it was a good, good entry point. Right now, what we're seeing is overbought region meaning that it's extremely overbought. However, the short squeeze has not happened and it still has potential to build up. Now we have two scenarios, okay? So right now we have a huge bull pennant and that bull pennant is still going up, all right? It has not had a pullback yet. There is a little bit gap up, meaning that it can go back to 3.97, may retest the previous support level, which is around 350. It may go down there and then turn back around, fill up these gaps, go towards the resistance level of 4.22 and then break out. The sell zone above, anything above 550 to 750 is a huge major sell zone for Sensionomics, okay? However, there's another scenario, guys. Another scenario that can happen for Sensionomics is another one week of buildup, okay? So this means that it goes to the 4.2 region goes down, goes up a little bit, fills up more gaps, and it makes a little step ladder up, okay? Similar to what we have right here from uh, June 4th to June 11th, do you see this bull flag? It's a huge bull flag, huge bull flag with very little resistance, very little selling pressure. So <laughs> the interesting part is the second scenario, it can straight up go straight to $5.50 with no hesitation. That's what can happen with huge volume. You need a lot of people to buy into Sensionomics, which can happen. Reddit is extremely powerful. Then what's the next case scenario? If it goes straight to 550, it's probably going straight up. It's gonna moon. It's gonna go very fast, very quickly to a higher region. Sensionomics has potential to go all the way up to 750. That's 100% increase, almost 100% increase from current price. That's double your money. Now, a lot of people don't have a mentality of not selling. You have to start selling a little bit of your position because it's extremely overbought, way too overbought. It was way above the 50 day MA, way above the 200 MA. There's absolutely no way a stock just goes straight to the moon, okay? Now, from $4 to $8 or 750, I mean, what more can you ask for, especially on a penny stock? Now, time out and don't exit the video yet. So guys, Sensionomics has long-term potential, a long-term growth. This is a, a stock that is not a gimmick. It's not a meme stock. Um, it has a lot of great uh, due diligence if you look into it. However, when Reddit community, when they enter, whenever they enter, they enter with huge money and a company can blow up, all right? They will take their profits and get out. Now, if you are stuck buying when it's above at 550, 750, you have potential to get screwed. Unless you're looking at the technical analysis and see it slowly build up, it's terrible to be in that position, okay? If you're riding up, if you're buying up, put stop losses, guys, huge stop losses. Look at these uh, limits where you have sell-offs. Stop loss at 340 is pretty good. Stop loss at 322, these are huge stop losses you wanna put. And you don't wanna lose too much money because it's, it becomes a, a sort of a gamble when you're trying to uh, make money on a short squeeze especially based on Reddit, it becomes a real gamble. So the second scenario is that it shoots straight up to 550 and then it keeps going up. You put a huge stop loss and you just ride the wave up. And whenever you feel like you wanna exit this ride, this train, you leave. With that being said, if you like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe. You can look at the chart that I did, take a picture of it for your own help. This is not financial advice. This is just what I'm seeing. And with that being said, make sure you hit the red subscribe button. Until next time, guys.